Hi. In our most recent projects, we've been using images that have been loaded into the project's resources. Today, I will demonstrate how to use a dialog box to allow the user to browse his or her computer and select any image to display. Let's begin by naming the project Images with Dialog Box. Let's add a button and name it Open Images. So the prefix is BTN. Open Images. And let's change the text of our button to the same thing Open Images. Let's also add a picture box. And note the picture box I'm going to leave small. I'm naming this Pick Window. The prefix PIC, of course, standing for picture box. All right. Now, normally we alter the properties of the picture box here in the properties window. But because I want to get some practice using the with statement that we learned in the last lesson, let's alter some of the picture box's properties in the form load. To get there, of course, double click on the form. Make sure you don't double click in the picture box. And then we need to add a with statement. And the object that we would like to use with this with statement, of course, is the pick window. Now, I want to change a few things about the pick window. I want to change the border style. And I want to use none. I want the, the picture to blend in with the background. I want to change the width. To 300 and the height. 220. And finally, the size mode, which is the most important thing here to change. The size mode. I want that to equal, we have lots of options here. I think the one to choose here is the zoom that will nicely fit any picture into this picture box. Now, if we were to run this, you wouldn't see it because the border style is none so when you run the program it would just be an invisible picture box so I guess you have to trust me on this you could change the border style to 3d fixed for example run it and see that the picture window has gotten bigger but I won't do that here alright back to our design window whenever the user clicks on the open images we would like a dialog box to open up these are familiar to all Windows users so we first of all need to put the dialog box in the project. So we're going to scroll down in our toolbox to dialogs. And you can see we can change the color with the color dialog box, for example, fonts with the font dialog. And this is the open file dialog. So if you click it and click on the form, it's placed in the project but down here. So now we can use it, and the name of this dialog is Open File Dialog 1. We'll use this quite often. So, of course, the user wants to open that dialog box after the button is pressed. So double-click on the button to get into the click method for the button. Now, what I'm going to show you here is not intuitive. This is not something you could have figured out on your own, probably. But it's all over the web. Tutorials such as this one will show you. So I think you just have to kind of grit your teeth and, and type in as I go. So the first thing I want to do is set what kind of files we can open with the dialog box. You know, Word documents, for example, only allow you to open up DOC or DOCX documents. So we, of course, only want to have image files. So open dialog, open file dialog one. Dot, and now we need to change the filter of this dialog box. We only want to allow current 
images. So this is a string. So we need the quotes. And you can type anything you want here. I'm going to type image files. You could type bitmap images or whatever. And then the syntax is important. We need a pipe. And the pipe is located just above the enter key. So shift and that button just above the enter key with the backslash. So that gives you what's called a pipe. And then we want to be able to open up, say for example, BMPs. So any BMP, you would type asterisk.bmp. Okay, there are more images than that, so let's separate it with a semicolon. Asterisk.gif for GIF image. And then, of course, there's the JPEG. So asterisk.jpg. Let's make sure to close it with a quote. We'll hit enter. And I'll show you where that pops up in the dialog box. Okay. So the dialog box will open. The user will select something. And now we need an if then statement. If the user presses the OK in the dialog box that pops up, in other words, they choose their picture, then they press the OK button, we want something to happen then. So here's how to make that work. So if the open file dialog one dot show dialog equals now you can see that there are a bunch of options that the user could choose if they choose the OK option if they choose the OK button as opposed to the cancel for example button then we want to load the selected image into the picture box the first part of it you, you know how to do pick window dot image equals and now this again is just not intuitive but here's how to do it image dot from file okay and then we need to type in a file name here into our file as a string and that's done with the open file dialog one which you see here pops up automatically and then the property of that needs to be file name. All right. Well, that is it in a nutshell. So now we run it. I'm going to open my images. So I can load this small image, for example and it loads nicely into our picture window. If I choose the big image, this guy here is, is uh, much, much larger. It will look exactly the same because of the zoom feature stretches it and fits it nicely into our little window box. So let me point out too that when you click open images, the filter that we typed in is exactly reproduced right here. Notice the pipe is gone. It's enclosed in parentheses, but these images are the ones that we are allowed to use. Now let's say that the user has other images that are bitmap images, but they're not listed here, like a TIFF, for example. Since we did not include it, the user would not be able to use those images within the application. So let's fix that now by changing our filter. All right. So I'm going to come here, and at the very beginning, I'm going to type in all files, and then I want to pipe and then all files of course is asterisk dot asterisk then I need another pipe okay so if we run this and open our images notice that all files is now part of the filter you could also choose just to show the BMP GIF and JPEGs and this is probably what we want to to set as the default, which we'll do in just a second, but I'll show you what all files will do for us. If we go back a few directories, for example, and click on the icons, right now these are allowed to be displayed in our picture window box, even though they are not BMPs, GIFs, and JPEGs. So if we select the Earth, for example, open it, there she is. It's a little annoying though that the all files is the first filter that's chosen. 
this is easily changed. The filter index we want to be 2. The first filter index is all files. The second filter index are these guys here. So now if we run it, open images, it goes straight to the elements and of course there are no matches for this search because it's not a BMP, GIF, or JPEG. However, we can change to all files and there is an icon we can load into our picture window box. Alright, well, that concludes this tutorial. Thank you for watching.